This is one of my favourite movies of all time. Uh, this is Demolition Man, a 1990... Ooh, I don't actually know when the film came out. 93? Um, with Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Sandra Bullock. Amazing film, if you haven't seen it. If you have, watch it again! Also, this riff is pretty awesome. So we're looking at the Mega Drive version of Demolition Man. There was kind of a Mega Drive, Mega CD, and... Uh, some other platform that I can't remember off the top of my head. Might have been SNES. This is the kind of more traditional 2D platformer. We need to find the 3DO version because... Boy howdy, the 3DO version is something else entirely. Let me a quick look at the uh, controls. So you've got three button controller, you've got a jump button, a shoot button, and a throw button, which is essentially your grenades. Uh, you can stand and shoot, duck and shoot, break and shoot on a zip line. You can roll. I haven't tried that yet. Stand and shoot. Yeah, so this... There's an interesting mix of... gameplay styles going on here. Uh, I'm going to keep it on calm, I think, just for the time being. Obviously, we're starting Los Angeles in 1996. So this game's really fast, the 2D platforming is especially. The jump button flings you across the screen. So I like, I, you know, this game came out in 1995, so it's a couple of years after the film came out. I I don't think it looks amazing. It's fast, um, but in terms of actual raw graphics, it's not the best Mega Drive game I've, I've seen. I do think it does a decent job of kind of giving the impression of Demolition Man movie though. Oh. So I've got a health bar in the bottom left and I've got a number of grenades I can throw. Oh. Don't shoot C4 directly in front of your face. If I can throw a grenade. Oh, there is no C4 now. Gun upgrade! Couple ammo. Yeah, getting used to the jumping is kind of difficult. Really like this music. You can drop those canisters of C four on people. Oh, Simon says bleed. The frame rate keeps dropping. I don't know if that's the emulation or if that's actually what this game used to be like. You wouldn't expect a fast flowing. Oh! Try again. A fast flowing action game to kind of slow down like that. It does seem to be with the upgraded gun. The problem arises. What? Uh, uh. I'm caught on something! Man, I made through, through this the first time last time I played it. What the hell did I do wrong? Jump it? That's more like it.
So the second level goes away from the 2D platforming and it gets into kind of almost top-down Smash TV style, loaded style kind of gameplay. Which is interesting to see him do two different styles. Phoenix seeks weapons in the museum. Rescue the hostages and capture Phoenix. Right, let's go. So I could use some lives because I've only got zero left. Yes, yeah, the frame rate seems to be even worse in these sections, so I'll warn you now. It just makes the explosions more sick, right? How did he do that? He's throwing grenades over the wall. That doesn't seem fair. So again, you can throw grenades in this mode. It's just harder to aim them. Back to shredding guitar, though. I mean by the amount of enemies. These levels do feel a little bit like carnage. Can't go through there. Controls don't feel great either. The platforming, it was difficult to, to figure out the jumps. Oh, I can throw grenades over the wall as well. And hit nobody. I need that health pack. Hey, I got somebody! Someone says bleed! I'm going back the way I came. Big old circle. Another health pack. Ah, the Hall of Violence. Oh, God. No! Do you really want to continue? Yes. Alright, we might make it through with four lives. So as in the action guide as well, if you, so if I hit the jump button it will shoot behind me. It's quite handy if you've got somebody sneaking up on you. Ironically, you kind of want a second analogue stick or four buttons to do this. You want to do directional shooting, but for what they've built, you get away with uh, the two fire buttons. That's a gun. Oh, that hurt. Okay, it does start you with checkpoints as well, which is quite handy. Alright, it's blowed up when I'm a little bit further away. Ooh, That's quite cheap actually, the fact you can throw grenades like that. Just shoot in every direction and hope that you hit something. I think you can shoot the hostages as well, and that, that counts as saving them.
Oh, no. Oh, nice checkpoint. So as usual with these games, my favourite bit is the music. Although I don't like this music as much as the main menu. It's running out a lot more health packs. Is that an extra life? Oh! Bro, I hide my shotguns in a giant screen wall of screens. <laughs> I keep wanting to blow those things up and then reminding myself that like, don't get too close. You're only gonna end badly. Whoa! Too many explosions! This game is just too cool for a Mega Drive. There are a lot of hostages, and they're all wearing purple suits. Alright, where do you want me to go? I miss something? No? Here. Oh, a boss fight, but those things. Whoa! Hell of a weapon that uh, Phoenix has got. I keep wanting to call him Phoenix Wright, that's not right. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I get a hit in and I get a little sliver of health off him. He gets a hit in and he takes off a quarter of my health. Seems unfair. All right, we're getting there. Yay! And the entire world explodes. Hey, we're back to regular 2D platforming. Uh, yeah, that's where we want to go. All oh, these jumping controls are not good. No! That game over. He likes saying that. No! Come on, jump up the... Jesus. Whoa! This, these parts are definitely better than the the top down bits. Pl well, I don't know actually. They both kind of play a little clunkily. Remember those giant pits in the middle of San Angeles? Am I supposed to jump up there? I am supposed to jump up there. Oh. Oh. Fair to say some of these elements have not aged particularly well. Oh, come on. Up in the rifts. Uh. 
wanna jump over to the Oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we can go even higher, apparently. Oh! What are we doing? Well, that's Demolition Man for the Mega Drive. It's pretty good, but uh, it hasn't aged particularly well, and it doesn't control great either. It's a shame, because the movie's awesome, and the music is pretty good as well. But uh, yeah, it's not the most fun thing to play in the world.